Well, hello to you, and thank you for welcoming me into your room. I don't mean this image of me on your screen. I mean, look behind you, I've crept in. <laughs> Not really. At least one of you looked. <laughs> the reason I'm cowering, I've had the worst week of my life. Mum's been staying. Not just that, she's been trapped inside with a bad back for five years. Very long days. <laughs> I even had to take her to the loo. I'll never recover. There should be a law against mothers wearing thongs. <laughs> Mike accepted a training course to get away. I am at the plotting her death stage. <laughs> oh, yes, and she's got a bell. <laughs> Once more, unto the breach. <laughs> and when I say fresh towel, I don't mean for breezed and flapped outside the window. <laughs> And have you changed that bin liner? I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh, sorry about that. Yes, dear. Could you pass me the doobries? Don't call them doobries. <laughs> the remote control doobries. It's just remote control. You don't need to put doobries at the end. What is it with mothers? You give birth, you instantly don't understand anything technical anymore. Ridiculous. But you suddenly have a drawer of spare greetings cards, don't you? Yes. And you walk into a room to ask a question and then you just answer it yourself. I'd like my sheets changed before I eat. been a burden. <laughs> yes, I wish I were there too. Do you remember 68, me and belly dancing? <laughs> Stop it, shake sexy. <laughs> I'll have to use the safe word. Oh, no. Not under my roof, young lady. Never do this with a man. This position does nothing for your chin. <laughs> Acceptable sentence. Now, is there anything else I can get to you, like a killer blow to the face? What? Who said that? I'll have you know, I have the right to be demanding. I earned that right the minute I pushed a ten-pound you through my clacker. I can't apologise enough. You may think it's been hard for you. Yes, hello, oh, bell. Plump this, dust bust that. Oh, could you turn the TV up when the news is on? Could you turn it down if they're left wing? <laughs> could you please put the subtitles on Taggart? I simply can't understand the accent. <laughs> Plunge the loo before I go, expunge the bath. Any activities ending in unge should be banned. I am on an unge protest. Although plunge is a lovely word. Plunge. Plunge. 
wrong. <laughs> well, you try living with someone who farts every time she gets up from a chair. Uses oven gloves for slippers. And wastes her life snack fishing. I've seen you try it. And it is fun. Snack fishing? What will I get? Oh! A monster! Would you mind if I read my magazine in peace? to be a geisha in your oven glove slippers. Stop pretending to be Darcy Bustle. Must have been a terrible shock. <laughs> nice one, Mummy. <laughs> oh no, it is there. It's a grey hair. It's my first grey hair. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm colouring it in. <laughs> this is all your fault. You've driven me to old age. I feel ill. May I remind you that I am the one with the severe muscle spasm? Yes, and whose fault is that? Every other year, I have won Ladies Lati Karate Pilates with no problem. <laughs> oh, oh, no, there's another one. Oh, well, this is it, isn't it? This is the end. My youth is over. I'm turning into my what I call mother. <laughs> What a joyful day that will be for you. Yes. No, I can't wait. I can't wait to decide whether to go out or not by looking at the weather report. Look outside, that's the weather! <laughs> oh. I was hoping for ten years of following dreams, ten years of going, kids, and a good twenty years of cake bakery, garden centres and such fun before the simmering racism creeps in. Will you stop wallowing like an oversized walrus? Walrus is already oversized. That's my point. You're massive. <laughs> like you were the day I pushed you out through my... On your head. Where, where are they? On your head. Where's my driving glasses? Where are my reading glasses? On your head, on your head, on your head! Where are my are you head? Here? Such fun, not fun. You see, this is the kind of thing I'm aging with irritation. Soon I'll be ironing napkins and texting in capitals. <laughs> I, mean, I don't mean to be dramatic, but 
I'm realising now that I'm entering my twilight years and I've never even really lived. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All I think about now is death, mine and the potential joy of yours. <laughs> what? Who said that? <laughs> Do you ever think about the things you've never done with your life? I mean, I've never walked barefoot through Paris or showered under a waterfall. I've never been to a music festival. I think my greatest achievement was when I tied massive helium balloons to Stevie when she was asleep. <laughs> she woke up on the ceiling. <laughs> oh, do you have regrets, Mum? I should have gone on that barge holiday with Roger Moore. <laughs> I only had three of the four members of the pop sensation Bucks Fizz. <laughs> and I should have joined the dance troupe Pan's People. You, Pan's they, People? They said I gave one of the most sensual auditions in the group's history. Look, will you stop having an existential crisis and smarten up? Dr. Gale will be here any minute. Dr. Gale's coming here. Yes, so make yourself more homely, less homeless. You look like a model for the Sue Ryder Foundation. <laughs> Dr. Gale has gone private. Even more of a catch. I'd like to remind you that I have a boyfriend now. But this is Dr. Gale. He is... Seriously hot. <laughs> right? For breezing. <laughs> For a bit of spray. Oh! Oh, that's stingy. Oh, it's hairspray. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, is that giving me a little joy de vivre? <laughs> I'm late. Terrible traffic because of this music festival. <laughs> Sorry, Doctor. I hope it doesn't smell in here. We've been a bit cooped up, so it might smell of breath or... Uh, let's leave it at breath. <laughs> I'll crack open a window, shall I? Ooh! Crack. Cheeky. <laughs> crack. Plunge. <laughs> Plunge my crack. No. So how are we? Oh, hello, Doctor. As I said on the phone, I think you'll benefit from an injection. If you can just manage to get on your front. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> I meant the patient. Will be in your bottom. <laughs> very good, and that should have you up and moving about very soon. Well, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies. So, what are you a doctor of? Gorgiosity. <laughs> Do you get a touch if it's not eased off by the morning? Certainly will. <laughs> oh, sorry, snorted. <laughs> what, what is wrong with us? Stop it. Stop it. it. <laughs> well, how's the patient? Well, I think... Hello, Stephanie. I have an announcement, Mentington. I have decided... Ex facto style pausios. <laughs> Bear with. <laughs> to become a life coach. Help us all. <laughs> I mean, isn't that 
that just poor moi? Totes perfectulent. No, that is just my velodrome. <laughs> I could life coach you, Queen Kong. I don't need a life coach. Yes, yes you, you do. do. No, I don't. Yes, yes you, you do. do. Well, I can't afford it. We'll, we'll pay. pay. I have savings. I'll lend you the money. I'll sell a kidney. <laughs> I'm not up to this abuse. I'm really not feeling very well. My headache's now been going on for five days. That could be something serious, actually. I'm going to Google it. Oh, she's such a hypo. Hey, Penny. How are you feeling? Oh, mm. Well, I've been flattered. I've my got doctor. cerebral venous thrombosis. <laughs> I'm not going to hospital. I mean, if things aren't bad enough, they make you wear a gown with a what I call arse gap. <laughs> gown, 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 no gown there. <laughs> Dr. Girl's blood pressure cough. Gary, you can do this. Uh, may I just remind you, I'm the patient here. I've just had a prick in my bottom. All right, just going to pump it up. You may feel a swelling. <laughs> oh, no. Is that the band tightening or my arm inflating? OK, I'm really freaking out now. Well, let's have a nice cup of tea. Take your mind off it. Good idea. <laughs> Knock, knock. Who's there? Doctor. Doctor! <laughs> Very good. Uh, I, I stupidly left my blood pressure cuff. Thank you. Actually, whilst you're here, could you reassure me, would you mind? It's just that I think that I've got um, thrombosis. I might die in your arms tonight. It must have been something you said. I just died in your arms tonight. Wow, wow, wow. When you, um, why don't you come and see me at the surgery in the morning? I may not last the night. This has got the beginning of casualty all over it. <laughs> Is this the end? I'll give you half an hour. Half an hour to live! I knew I was ill! Oh, can someone take me to Disneyland? There's no time. Have sex with me, Doctor. No, no, no. I mean, I'll give you a half an hour appointment in the morning. <laughs> I thought you meant to live. <laughs> I am happy to maintain the offer of the pet. Look what you've done. I was in there. You were yes. in there. No, you were all the time. I was in there. Girls. 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 You're really scaring me. Sorry. Sorry. Stop it. What are you doing? I'm the one with the boyfriend. I'm going to ring Mike, tell him to come back. We'll start living our lives to the full. Yeah. Because I don't mean to be dramatic. That near-death experience has made me realise I've got to start living life free from regrets. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Seriously, I've got to start doing all the things I've never done. I'm going to... I'm going to play at Wembley with the Spice Girls. I'll be realistic. <laughs> OK. I'll dance under the stars. Got it. I'm going to go to that music festival. <laughs> what, you? Going to <laughs> Beats on the Green? I'm going to make a change. Ooh, I'm looking for the man but woman in the mirror. <laughs> Asking him, her, to change his, her ways. If you want to make the world a better place, take a look at yourself. Ow! Oh! Oh. oh. Oh, I feel dreadful. Sweaty and achy. I knew I was ill. This is meant to be the first day of the rest of my life. I had a horrid night. I opened a window at one point, and then half an hour later, there was a cat on my head. <laughs> I 
night of my life. When I rang the doctor's surgery, they said, stay away if you've got suspected flu. I said, you're the one spreading germs with your touch screen appointment system. <laughs> Touche. Oh, look how limpy I am. Oh, so limpy, like a limpet. I'm like, limpet OPEC. <laughs> Do you remember the name of the... Marjorie. That's it. <laughs> Look at Mummy. Night in her own bed and her swagger's back. Mum, help, I'm ill. What is it this time? Bubonic plague. <laughs> now, I left my glasses. Here they are. Mustache. I've had a life coaching session from Tilly. You made me think about regrets, so Tilly is teaching me to maximise my penny a lifetime. Thrilly box. Uh, <laughs> Mum, wait. Oh, chickening out of going to a music festival, are we? Not well, am I? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't have time for this. Some of us like to look at a picture of Heather Small in the morning <laughs> and hear her sing... What have you done today to make you feel proud? All best wishes, kind regards. <laughs> Stevie, wait. Oh, I could do a little weepy. And, uh, that's my midsummer murder, Stevie D. <laughs> <laughs> So why are DVDs always so hard to open? I'm <laughs> so I'm too limp to do the puncture with pen. Where are the doobries? Oh, no. Well, if you're not going, you can get up and help me with the new stock. Look, funny pig. <laughs> Funny little bunny. <laughs> what a funny little dog. <laughs> Why are you not finding these funny? Because I'm ill. Oh, nonsense. <laughs> I'll get you your usual breakfast. Eggs, beans, muffins, bacon, sausage, bread, fried bread, uh, toast, pancakes and a side of lasagna. Yeah. No. White, just for the germs. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. We've got to get you better so you can start your new life. I know. I had to ring Mike and say I was ill, so not to come back. Oh, oh. Stevie, I want to be romance. Oh, the breath. <laughs> and no one's going to romance you looking like that. I mean, I'm not being rude, but you look like a fat, sweaty friar. <laughs> Saying I'm not being rude before that does not make it not rude. <laughs> Have you been romanced? <laughs> Hello? Hot fox? <laughs> I mean, romance is easier for me, for I am blessed with, with the, the allure. allure. Yes, you don't have monopoly on allure. Oh, I do, because I am captain of the Allure Society. Allure Society. Yes, those ordained with the Allure meet and I take the minutes. I see you've never been invited. Because it's imaginary. Right. <laughs> we'll get you sorted. I would give you a hug, but you're literally riddled with bacteria. And I'm not being rude, but you stink. Well, I'm not being rude, but you're a rancid Barbie. <laughs> oh, I know what will soothe. I'll sing for you. Oh, no, that's fine, and Ruth. now the end is near. And so I face the final curtain. That's inappropriate. Of all sorts. What about A? Advice, you look happy to greet me. It's like a vocal <laughs> hug, isn't it? No, it's really not. Advice, you just go. Adelweiss. Just go and sing it to Heather in the shop. Oh, awesome, awesome. Yeah. Hey, you. It's better sort of further away. <laughs> Don't be silly, Stevie. She's been a hypo. Come on, Queen Hypochondria. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> DM, seize the carp. Oh, <laughs> oh, you're disgusting. <laughs> like, truly, her 
Rendo, like a drunk Princess Anne. <laughs> you are ill. Okay. Life coaching. So. No, I just need to sleep. Apparently, it's all about a build-up of negativos emocionios, okay? <laughs> so we need to emotionally and physically declutter. I've got a high temperature. I really been that negativos, okay? We're going to start emotionally. So we could go with the obvious stuff, Aru. E.g. that you're a child trapped in the body of a woman, trapped in the body of a man, trapped in the body of a bigger woman, trapped in the body of a con. <laughs> no, seriously, there's loads of you in there. <laughs> This doesn't really help it. Oh, oh no, hush your Kong face. <laughs> so fired up by this life coaching, it's right up my bridal path. <laughs> no, what? Uh, I'm not here. I'm just going to sterilise all surfaces. Just pretend I'm not here. I think she'd rather jog it off, Stevie. Jog it off? Jog it off. I think once the flat is sterile, you'll be able to relax. There's germs everywhere. I'm going to tap your temperature away. How is this helping? How? How? Now, I got you a sponge, because my granny used to say you put a hot sponge in your mouth for fevers. <laughs> Now, Stevie, do you not think you might benefit a little from the coaching of the life? Um, Gary's had a sessione. I'm, I'm just sensing a cleanliness issue. Of all the people who don't need life coaching, I am she your best wishes, kind regard. <laughs> just text me if you need more Tilly inspiration. More tinspiration. <laughs> Dance tonight. Da -da 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 -da. Still have begged for more seven. <laughs> now, come here. <laughs> oh, this is nice. Mm. Oh, thanks for the flowers. Oh, actually, they're not for you. Um, <laughs> There, for Jacinta. <laughs> Jacinta? Jacinta, yeah. Jacinta. Jacinta. <laughs> Who's Jacinta? Well, I met her last night. Oh. Yeah, I've been feeling a bit down since Rose and I split up. And mm. I don't know, I took on board what you said yesterday and went out and did something. I went to a ballroom dance class and been up all night with Jacinta. <laughs> Jacinta. <laughs> Well, isn't that stick your face in a blender and punch yourself in the stomach marvellous? <laughs> now listen, you. Get better, OK? Oh. And, uh, oh, I'll just leave these here for you. <laughs> well, hello. Catch on. Penny? If so I'm not dreaming now, can you just knock me out? <laughs> Tillis encouraged me to purge my pan's people regret by auditioning for the Shepperton Amateur Dramatics production of Chicago. I am ripe for Velma. Her five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> no one should have to see this. By the way, Tilly says your negativity is a drain on my dance skills. Also, am I really controlling? Am I a neat freak? <laughs> and am I bossy? Tilly says I'm bossy and pushy. Am I pushy? 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 Miranda, am I a childish commitment folk? Because according to Tilly, searching romance is like a detour from reality or something. Apparently, so I shouldn't be a life coach. That's ridiculous. <laughs> This is my life's work. I trained for this for a whole weekend in Shropshire. <laughs> I went to Shropshire. I still don't know where that is, and I went there. I just think your life should be pretty ship shape if you want to be a life coach. Yes. No, and if you want to be a life coach, please shut up. 
If you haven't noticed, I'm not very well, actually. Thank you, please, to you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm spending the first day of the rest of my life in bed calling remote controls doobries. And instead of helping, you're shouting and wearing leotards, and I hate you all. <laughs> Darling, do you want to come home with me? Please say no. <laughs> Well, I don't want to jinx it, but I feel better. I think I'm okay. Sorry we were so awful here if you need us, love the gang. Oh, they were really sweet last night. Gary made me a broth, which is just soup, but it's called broth if you're ill for some reason. And Stevie sung me a song of my choosing, which was instrumental, so that went well. Yeah. An egg's done three ways, so you have a choice and some tea. I didn't know whether you'd feel like anything. Yeah, I'm still quite poorly. Um, Would you like anything from Stevie's tray? Well, as long as that's not a euphemism, um, <laughs> I think I'll have a croissant and... <coughs> <laughs> Some eggs. Which eggs? Would you... All of them. <laughs> and Gary was asked if he might feel like any meals later. Um, what would probably really help would be a curry with extra... Choo! Boppadoms. <laughs> Leaving you in peace. Well, I could go to the festival, but I think a bigger life regret would be not sponging off all my friends. <laughs> <laughs> and a music festival, I mean, terrifying. If nothing else, what would the facilities be like? Oh, no, I'm going purse-lipped at the thought. No. <laughs> I've had the best day of my life, ill but well. And I asked Gary for a trifle after the curry to ease my throat. Brilliant. And then I said I needed some me time, so... Will you please welcome, live at Wembley... Miranda! <laughs> I'd like to thank Michael Bublé for being my warm-up and uh, will you now please welcome to the stage some very good friends, the Spice Girls. <laughs> Life size. <laughs> You've been fine all day. We thought you had a brain tumour and called Dr Gale. I risk coming back here. Risked? I'm not mad, am I, sporty? She says no. <laughs> Can I take you out to make up for it? Oh, there's, there's I think no you'd need. rather go out with what? <laughs> go out with me if anyone if you had to choose one of us then who would it don't it again why can't anyone not go all carry on doctor with me well it's just because you're so hot in your flat. Yes, with a burger van and everything. And a karaoke.
Cookie Machine. That sounds brilliant. Well, tough teats. If you want to go to a music festival, you are going to have to go to an actual music festival. No regrets, remember? Or are you too scared? Mm. Yeah, I'm not scared. I'm already drunk on Dabby. <laughs> Too easy. 